G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're looking at the newly updated version of Photoshop, which adds in a fantastic feature, which will definitely help to speed up your workflow and make things a little bit more time efficient, particularly if you're using adjustment layers. The new version of Photoshop is version 25.11. Now, if we have a look at our tools menu just on the left-hand side here and we scroll halfway down, now the new tool is called the Adjustment Brush, just on the left-hand side here, about two-thirds of the way down. And if we click on that one, we can see that we have, you can see that we have an options bar that uh, is very similar to other options bars that's, uh, that have come out in Photoshop recently. And as the name suggests, it is an adjustment brush, but it allows you to create layers of adjustments immediately to the image. What we're going to do is just open up our layers tab, as you can see there. Now, if we just click on that drop down box, you can see we've got all of the usual adjustment layers that you would expect to see in the traditional adjustment layers tab. Uh, Let's just select curve for this one. As the name suggests, it is an adjustment brush. Uh, using your brackets, you can increase or decrease the size, or of course, use the size option in that little drop down box there as well, as well as the hardness, so or the feathering, as I prefer to call it. So 100% will give you hard edges of adjustment. 0% uh, will give you softer edges of adjustment, which will give you a, a more gentler transition from full adjustment to no adjustment at all. Now, while this tool is an adjustment brush we do have the option to apply it to an object this just basically uses Photoshop's built-in object awareness to select objects within the frame uh, and this of course allows you to make a very quick selection but of course as many of you will want uh, to use it as an adjustment brush all right so if we just for now select the water on this scene in Venice and we select all of that. There we go. It's a very, very quick selection. A little bit rough, as I'm sure you will agree. You can see that we have a curves adjustment here that we can darken or brighten that selection. Of course, there is the opacity uh, that we have as well within that brush uh, that was at 34%. If we put it up to 100%, you can see that it will, in fact, based on the mask over here and the layers tab, it will apply 100% of that adjustment as a layer to your image. Once again, able to adjust that layer with the properties tab. So you can see you've also got all of the normal options that a layer adjustment has there as well around adjustments. So whether it's opacity or fill, uh, as well as the uh, drop down option to um, make decisions around how that adjustment layer interacts with the image below. Now, while you can still achieve all of these things using normal layer adjustments, what this allows you to do is immediately start applying an adjustment brush, which creates the mask for you. You can then, of course, apply a new and separate adjustment layer. In this case, we're going to apply a saturation. We're just going to increase the size of our brush a little bit just to help make that selection nice and quick purely for demonstration purposes. And then of course we have all of those options around adjustments with that adjustment layer as well, with that mask selected immediately as soon as we start painting with that adjustment layer brush. This is certainly going to be a fantastic tool, once again, helping to uh, increase your speed and efficiency with your workflow. Uh, it's not an option in terms of workflow that hasn't already been available. Just the process to get there is new and definitely will be advantageous. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.